Very good evening to everyone. Today, I'm Ahmad Yusuf bin Ahmad Jasmine. will present to you two SS6 microwave optic. So, our present, our presenter, our instructor is Dr. Noah Hafiza bin Mat Isa. Mat Isa, sorry, I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna start with introduction. There are many advantages of study optical phenomena at microwave frequencies. We are using all uh, as lots of materials and apparatus such as be, uh, at the right side of the slides. As it shows, there are prisms, the diode, the, observe, the detector, the metal reflector, and the spatial reflection, and else. The objective is to study the characteristic of light in different experiment, in different situation, whether in experiment 4, experiment 7, 9, 10, and 11. In our theory, it's supposed to be that light, the, the definition of light is the electromagnetic radiation with proportional of electromagnetic spectrum that can be perceived by human eye. Light is the the interference between electromagnetic uh, elect electric field and magnetic field. So light has so far the light has two characteristics reflected, reflected and diffraction. We can find the law of reflection which is N1 sine theta 1 equal to N2 sine theta 2 to find the reflected light degree and also the index of reflected between medium. Using the distance of light, we can find the wavelength of the light from triangular reflection. So let's start with the experiment for reflection through a uh, prism. The electromagnetic wave usually travel in a straight line. As it causes a boundary between two different media, however, the direction of propagation wave changes. So we are using the uh, law of reflected to find the degree between degree, deg uh, degree 1 and degree 2. We, in general, that we need to find a boundary will have a different indices of refraction. In our experiment, we, first, we rotate the empty prism mold and see how it affects the incident wave. Then, we fill the prism mold with styrene pellets. pellets. Rotate the movement of of G goniometer and locate the angle degree at which the reflected light, reflected light is a maximum. Using the determined degree 1, and use your value of degree to determine the degree 2. To find the degree 2, one must degree 1 plus degree to get degree 2. We can also find the law of reflection to determine the value of N1 over N2. So the index of reflection of air is equal to 1. We can find the determine, we can find the N1, the index of reflection of the steering pellets. Next, experiment 7, the Lloyd mirror. So, as you can see that Lloyd mirror is about the, the distance of light travel, or whether it is direct from A to C, or reflected, uh, reflection from the mirror B, which is A to B, B to C. So we can find the wavelength by doing this. How to do this experiment is <coughs> the transmitter and the receiver should be far apart as, as possible, which is A and C should be really, really far so we can get precise, precise data. While watching the meter of the receiver, slowly slide the reflector, which is the mirror B, away from the degree plate between A and C. The reflector position closest to the degree plate which produces a minimum meter re reading. Now measure the, and record the distance between the center of the degree plate and the surface of the reflector. Slowly slide the reflector away from the degree plate. 
until the meter within pass through a maximum and return to a new minimum. Measure uh, the distance between the center of the degree scale and the transmitter diode and collect data by to calculate the X, the wavelength of the microwave radiation. Change the distance between transmitter and the two receiver and repeat your measurement. But <clears throat> as you can see in the picture at the right side of the slide, that's the that's a how to do the experiment, how to rearrange the apparatus. Next, experiment eight, Fabry Parrot Interferometer. All right, so <clears throat> electromagnetic wave encounter a partial reflector. Part of the wave reflect, and the, some of them we go through the partial reflector. So in this experiment, we are we are currently <coughs> observe how uh, the percent the some of the electromagnetic wave they pass through the partial reflector. How to do the experiment is by the arrange the equipment as shown in the figure from the last slide, recent slide, and adjust the adjust the transmitter and the receiver so to easily read the signal of the light. Next, adjust the distance between the partial reflector and observe the relative minima and maxima. After that, adjust the distance between partial reflector to obtain a maximum meter reading, we call D1 the distance between reflector. While watching the meter, slowly move one reflector away from the other. Move the reflector until meter reading has passed through at least 10 minima and return to a maximum. We call the number of minima that were transverse. Also, we call the new distance between the reflector. Using your data to calculate the wavelength, the wavelength of the microwave radiation, Repeat the me uh, measurement, beginning with different distance between partial reflector. Next, experiment 9, my cursor interferometer. My cursor interferometer is, uh, experiment 9 is almost same as experiment 7. We can figure out the... the path of the light moving from the diode to to the C and to the B some of them we reflected to the to the <coughs> I'm sorry from the diode to the C and reflected to the B and B uh, so some of them we go to the uh, observer and some of them will be reflected to B and B to B will go to the where we go past to C and and go straight to the observer. So, to do the experiment, to do the experiment nine, the transmitter and adjust, <coughs> adjust the transmitter and receiver for an for an easily readable signal, to prevent it to, as a precaution, slide reflector A along the goniometer and observe the relative maxima and minima at the meter deflection. Set reflector A to a position we produce a maximum meter reading. We call the position of reflector on the goniometer meter arm. While watching the meter, slowly move the reflector away from the partial reflector. Move the reflector until the meter reading has passed through at least 10 minima and return to a maximum. Calculate the X, the wavelength of the micro radiation, and repeat the experiment again. Next experiment, which is the last experiment, booster angle. This uh, this experiment is to find the the to find the magnitude of the reflected signal depends on polarization of the radiation. To do the booster angle, which is like this picture, arrange the equipment and setting both of the transmitter and the receiver for horizontal polarization 90 degree. Adjust the panel at 20 degrees Celsius, at 10, sorry, 20 degree. Rotate the goniometer arm until the receiver is positioned where it get maximum, maximum light, maximum signal. 
then adjust at the mid scale reading and record the meter reading without changing the angles rotate both transmitter and receiver horn so that they align vertical polarization zero degree record the new meter reading in the table repeat the step again but setting the angle of incident to each of the values shown in the table below that given in lab manuals at each point of the set of transmitter and receiver for each horizontal polarization <coughs> and record the meter reading then set them to vertical polarization and record the reading as well plot the graph of meter reading versus angle of incident then plot both of the vertical and horizontal polarization on the same graph label Brewster's angle the angle at which horizontally polarized wave does not reflect thank you that's all from me